we have uh, New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters with us. Wally and Lynette have mortgaged their home. What's your reaction to the story? Well, this is really a sad and shameful episode in this country's uh, recent history. Uh, there are, there's no doubt about the injuries and the uh, medical conditions that they were subjected to in Vietnam and as a consequence some of their children as well. And to be having this uh, in 2014 sort of a standoff where we refuse as a nation to do our duty to these men and uh, their families is frankly a disgrace. We know that from July 2010 to October 2013, Vet Veteran Affairs accepted 7,412 claims, but declined most of those, 6,953. Um, often it seems on the grounds that medical records were missing or incomplete. How do we address this? Well, first of all, if you have lost the medical records of a claimant, it is your job uh, as the government agency to find that record. And in these days of computerisation, it's very hard to believe that they could have lost them or that they treated the records in such a cavalier way that they did not transfer it to computerised uh, archives. So those sorts of things are now being put up by the system to say, well, we haven't got your medical record, so you've got no claim. How appalling is that? Uh, a very tricky one to resolve too, I presume. So what would New Zealand First do, uh, should you come to power, to address this? Well, we're not making a promise because it's election period, you recall that way back in the, the early 90s we said to the Operation Grapple people who had Christmas Islands experiencing the nuclear tests there that we would find the money for a class action for them to get compensation and we did and we say to these people that uh, we'll have a package to ensure that they get the, the expedi expeditious fair go that they deserve. I've had relations dying of, of conditions which I've never seen anywhere else in the world apart from the Vietnam type experience. So this is personal to you? It's personal, personal to me course. and uh, when they were dying at a young age I thought how can this possibly be and where is the assistance? Uh, it's not an ACC, it's not a uh, compensation matter, it's a, a, it's a matter of a, a nation who sent people off to a very unpopular and as it proved very unwise war and seeks now to wipe its hands on them. So how do you address it though? If those medical records are missing how do you fix that? Well, and look after those veterans. Well, if you took a rough analysis of the incidence of certain uh, conditions that these soldiers have as against the rest of the population, it stands out in stark contrast that this must be something inexplicable and most probably was because of their engagement in Vietnam. I don't think we have got so many or such a big problem that we can't do the honourable thing. If you can find $42 million for a bum Aussie outfit that's running Nova Pay and have nobody accountable, or half a, or $800 million for people that didn't qualify in South Canterbury Finance, why would you have no money to do your duty by these men? What support should spouses and children of veterans receive? Well, again, that's a serious case of investigating whether or not they themselves have got conditions as a consequence, especially the, especially the children. But the spouses and the children should have got support a long time ago because you've got someone back in the workforce but seriously uh, handicapped from being the money earner that they could have been. They've got serious health issues. Now, it's a matter of honour, and I think about past times in Parliament where I don't believe that our parliamentarians would have been so heartless as is the case today. So what should be done for someone like Lynette Te'ua, who's supporting Wally and uh, missing out on income? Should we be covering her income? Well, of course we should be. But, but there's many, uh, there are many others also in the same boat. In his case, they're risking their uh, capital asset to fight a court case on behalf of others. But it should never have come to that. And frankly, uh, you would have seen some comments in the recent uh, few years by certain agencies whose job it is to look after these people and those comments have been less than responsible, less than uh, sensitive and frankly we need as a political system to clean the matter up and now for our own sake.